This video is about AML and KYC features and how they are implemented in the ATM2 model. So what is AML and KYC? AML stands for Anti-Money Laundering Law and KYC stands for Know Your Customer. Basically, a state regulation in some countries like European Union requires you that when you are dealing with cash, with larger amounts of cash, you have to comply with some sets of the rules to prevent money laundering or financing terrorism. This regulation may not be present in your country now, but may become present in future. That is why we recommend buying a model PATM2. In European Union, for instance, you as an operator should not accept more than 15,000 euro in cash from one person within a month. BATM2 enables ATM operators to prove to the local authorities that ATM receives cash from unique individuals and not just from one person. Customers using ATM which has AML turned on uh, fit into the three authorization groups fully autonomous, uh, fully anonymous customers, anonymous cu customers with the fingerprints so here you do the transaction without providing anything with this option you have to provide at least fingerprint and with third option which is for registered customers you have to get registered so based on how much cash customer wants to insert into the ATM he needs to fit into one of these three groups you as a ATM operator, can, ATM operator can set up cash limits on all machine, uh, on anonymous transactions, and on individual fingerprints. Limits are set per transaction, per hour, per day, and per month. Transaction limits uh, on, on the screen are purely for demo purposes. You as an ATM operator can, can set up any values as you like, or you can turn off AML completely. Or you can even turn off each option which you don't like. For instance, you might want just uh, anonymous transactions and registered uh, customers transactions. So, let's try anonymous transactions. So here you provide just uh, QR code and you are good to go with, uh, with anonymous transactions with fingerprint you have to agree with the privacy notice there will be collected some personal data like fingerprint okay so you provide the fingerprint and cash limits are tracked on this fingerprint and here you provide just QR code and you, are, you can continue with inserting cash and for third option it asks you if you are registered or not if you for instance if you want to insert large, large cash amounts so you need to get registered so when you want to get registered you have to agree again with privacy notice first you provide fingerprint And one, once more, sorry, but I'm already registered, so I'll have to, for demo, I'll have to use different finger. One more time. <laughs> okay, so, so now I should provide my ID card. So I put my ID card and I take photo. I can check if everything is readable. Yes, it is. Now the other side of the document. I'll take the photo. Okay. So now I have to provide the email address. So when my when my uh, customer account gets activated, so I'll receive the email. So. Add general advice. Uh, 
done done so now now the information which I already filled in are sent to the server to ATM operator and now, now I'm now I as a customer I'll wait for the operator to to approve my my registration so when I'm registered customer I already received the email that I'm that my account is uh, activated I can go into buy bitcoins more than 500 euro yes I'm already a registered customer and I agree with the privacy things I provide my fingerprint and now I can scan my QR code and insert the cache 